Hi, Lemon Lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary, and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while, and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, it's another installment for my Pat McGrath series. We've already gone through all of the Mothership palettes that I owned as I was filming it. I recently added one, Mothership number 11, which there's a review on and three eye looks with. And I also went ahead and did an eye look with three of the holiday palettes that I own. So now we're moving on to the six pan palettes that I have from Pat McGrath. If you're new here, I'm basically just going through my Pat McGrath palette collection and I'm using every single one creating an eye look with every palette. That's to inspire you to hopefully pick it up if you own it or inspire you to create an eye look with your Pat McGrath palettes or just inspire you to pick whatever Pat McGrath palettes you have and use them. Okay, so for today we're going to start with the six pan palettes and this is the very first six pan palette that I purchased from Pat McGrath. It is the Mothership Rose Decadence. I actually purchased this on sale so I did not purchase it when it first came out there it is so let's get started with an eye look shall we all right my lovelies hair is pulled back I did do this like base makeup earlier a couple hours ago we went to go have breakfast and now we're home and I'm filming because I need to pre-film before my family gets here, my beauty room is going to be occupied, so I won't be able to film in here, and I need to make sure that I have some content so that I can edit that and put that up. For the base, I have on the KVD foundation, the serum foundation. I have on the Makeup Forever new concealer. Uh, for powder, I went into the Laura Mercier and the Makeup Forever loose powder for my under eyes. Bronzer, I went into my Vive, and then um, I used a tiny bit of the Kevin Aquan contrast stick. Also used the new Kevin Aquan um, cream blush. I love that blush. The formula is so nice. And then for powder bronzer, I went into the House Labs. And for powder blush, I went into that new Chanel blush that I recently reviewed. And I'm pretty sure that is it. So let's get started with this eye look. I'm going to try my best for all of these to stick to the eyeshadow palette. But if you are following or I'm inspiring you to pick up one of the palettes that I use, do not feel obligated to just use this palette. If you need to add, you know, a couple of transition shades, don't be afraid to do it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the darkest shade. This is a Sonia G Crease Pro. And I think I'm gonna do a halo eye today. So this is gonna go outer corner and I'm tapping first and my husband just started mowing so okay this is what we got there's only two matte shades in this palette that dark almost purpley burgundy one and then this like pinky salmon shade so I'm going to jump into the pinky salmon shade <laughs> This is in It Brushes for Ulta number 105. And I'm gonna use this to blend out the edges on the lower lash line too. And in here too. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I did go in to my trusty NYX glitter glue and I think I'm going to jump in just to the gold. Going to use the brush that I used for the NYX Glitter Glue. It is the Sigma E54. All right, now I'm going to jump into the lightest shimmer. This is the Natasha Denona Draw and Diffuse Brush. I did wet it with MAC Fix Plus right in the inner corner. All right, let me finish off and I will be right back. All right, my lovelies, makeup is nice and done. And so is the eye look. I definitely feel it was a pretty simple eye look, just two mattes, one shimmer in the middle, and then the shimmer that I used for the inner corner and the brow bone. At least for me, it's simple. <laughs> Um, I do feel like you can use this palette as a standalone palette. 
if you have a hard time coming up with eye looks just go into like an all matte neutral palette and add some mattes pick this up if you have it i created this beautiful eye look it is so pretty i'm loving it like even though this palette doesn't have any of like the sparkly super you know bam in your face kind of shimmers is still very very pretty and soft and a little bold at the same time all right my lovely so i hope you enjoyed this eye look with this what is it the mothership rose decadence palette i've been having so much fun playing with all of my pat mcgrath palettes and i hope i'm helping you all out and reminding you to pick up your older palettes and use them because we have so much amazing makeup that's just sitting there and not being played with okay well that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you you have no idea all the comments all the likes if you use my links to shop it truly does mean the world to me don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you all on the next video bye